Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord and today I have some pretty great news for all of you guys who are awaiting Skyrim Remastered and that is that the first six official mods have been uploaded to Bethesda.net that we will see on our Xbox One and PC consoles. Now, as of yet, no mods have actually been uploaded to the PS4 side of the site, but when they do, I will update you guys. Uh, but let's actually get into these first couple of uh, mods, and honestly, they all look kind of basic. I know some of them will definitely use external assets, uh, but most of them do kind of seem basic. Uh, so let's, let's kind of get into them. So the first mod we're actually looking at that we can get on our Xbox One and PC is the Dawn Guard Map Markers. Now what this does is actually adds in a load of markers around the Dawn Guard Map. Um, I'm assuming that in the base game you actually couldn't have those or something like that. I don't remember playing Dawn Guard in Skyrim. I don't even remember playing any of the DLC in fact. So I'm not 100% sure on that. But from the screenshots we can see that there is a load of different map markers. And and especially in the description, it just says that they place map markers in the Soul Karen and enables fast travel whilst on that map. Um, so yeah, like I said, a kind of basic mod, but very necessary indeed. You know, I know a lot of people would be happy with that. Uh, so let's move on to our second mod now. And we have one called Manor Roads. Now, uh, this mod doesn't have any kind of description, but from the screenshots, I'm guessing that it is just a retexture of some of the cobblestone uh, flooring or pathways in Skyrim, I guess. Um, if any of you guys can actually enlighten me on this, I really don't know, but from the screenshots, that is my gist of what this mod is. Uh, again, kind of a basic-ish mod, and uh, yeah, I know a lot of people would be happy with a couple of retextures in this game. Uh, let's move on now to mod number three, and we have one called Shezri's Shack. I'm sorry if I did pronounce that wrong, I don't remember that person at all, uh, but it is in the Hearthfire DLC, so you must have that DLC for it to work, whereas if you actually have Skyrim Remastered, you get all of the DLC, but basically what this does is transforms a vanilla shack into a better, more compact, comfortable, player-free starter home, so you can actually live in this home, it has like labeled storage for food, clothing, weapons, uh, crafting uh, tables in there such as alchemy, uh, tables, cooking pots, uh, wood chopping blocks, and uh, yeah, it's just saying that the back of the house actually has a small garden in which you can actually plant flowers and uh, ingredients. So that's pretty awesome that uh, somebody's done that actually. I cannot wait to actually do my hand at that, I want to try that. Uh, that is definitely by far the uh, the most uh, kind of exciting uh, so far anyway in this little list. Uh, but let's move on to the next mod. And we actually have one that looks crazy. That's absolutely crazy. It's called Black Reach Railroad. And yeah, from what I can see, it's actually a working rideable steam locomotive, which is, you know, the train. Uh, so it is a, stream, a steam train and you can actually ride it. And it works with fast travel. And it has a fully voiced acted quest. Uh, you will find that in Skyrim Remastered, there will be a load of quest mods, which is just absolutely amazing, you know? Uh, as long as the mod uh, storage limit gets raised up, you know, uh, we will have a good uh, time with Skyrim Remastered on the console editions. But yeah, just um, if you want to pause the uh, stream right now, or the video, sorry, and just kind of read through that little description, or if you want to, in the description of my video, there's actually links to all of these mods, or the mod page in general, so you can go and look at it for yourself. But let's move on to the next mod. That one looks especially awesome, by the way. I'm going to look at the mod spotlight for that in a second. Uh, but let's move on. And we have one called Beehives, just simply Beehives. And uh, yeah, it's just saying that this mod actually puts, uh, let's see, a little room in front of the Honing Brew, ho honing brew Boilery uh, for five Beehives. It just puts five Beehives there. I guess it's just kind of for immersive reasons, because it kind of states how the hell did they get their honey, you know, where are the beehives for them to get the honey for the actual brewery. Um, so yeah, pretty much just a kind of immersive uh, mod there, which I know a lot of you guys would actually love. Uh, and you can actually bet that there will be so many immersive mods on Skyrim. 
Uh, but let's move on to the very last mod that we officially have uploaded to the Xbox One and the PC versions of Skyrim Remastered, and that is Marco's Integrated Leveled Lists. Um, so I kind of think I know what this is. Um, this mod seeks to add more of a variety into the game, adding content from Dawn God and Dragonborn into the main game, uh, as well as any other unused assets in game. Uh, so that sounds pretty cool. Uh, there is a long long list there so yeah kind of just oh actually it's not that long but you know still it looks pretty good um and yeah i kind of know what that is i'm pretty sure i do they had it in fallout and it was pretty big uh, but yeah guys i am very happy to have brought you this video on the official six mods for skyrim remastered xbox one and pc and you guys know i'm going to be doing some mod showcases um, I'll, I'll be bringing the mod showcases back, which I'm pretty sure all of you guys will love. Uh, high quality content for you. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see more of that in the future, then be sure to go and subscribe to my channel. And if not, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And until next time, I've been Stallord. I'll see ya.